morning, good morning, y'all. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the Igni Nuclezo. Ignore all the junk. I'm, I'm trying to sort through it all. So, I've got this garden bed, the L shaped one, topped off with some fresh horse manure, or well, aged horse manure, and wood shavings. Ladder pods, stinging nettle that's next to a wisteria that's did not take, but it's still a little green inside. Maybe it'll take, we'll see. But here we have Lucina, which got some grass growing beneath it. The Lucina is it's alive, you can see right there, but it's not growing. Petunia. Another bladder pod right there. And this will be Bougainvillea in the future. So trellis up there. Here we have a red yucca. Now we have the pomegranate. Excuse the focus on the camera. I don't know. It freaks out about focusing like that. But right here we have our pomegranate. It's looking pretty good. It's got a lot of little flowers on here. Some. All right. Continue with this one. We have the grape back here. I think it's looking alive and well. Then we have the Texas sage, looking amazing. That grape that was planted there is okay. So, this grape, let me avoid touching that stinky nettle. This grape right here, it was up to here. I broke it down to here, where from that point there it stops being dead, and this still has a lot of flexibility and life to it. So, I'm hoping that's gonna end up popping back up. Then in the back over there, we have another grape that's leafing out. Our rosemary. It's it's looking good. It looks like it's recovering, but uh, you can see some. You can see it has a lot of stress. That grape down there is dead. Unfortunately, I'll have to put a different grape. Then we have a bladder pot right there. And that's this garden bed. Now, we'll work our way towards this way. This here. So that whole area is water runoff. Mainly this road comes here, hits up against all the little berms I have here. There's a berm here, so it'll hit it. Flow, hit against this berm. Then flow in. that overfills it'll come this way and go into the future pond area which right now is currently a fire pit but here we have Harry the Palo Verde and he is gonna be giving off flowers soon here's some I'm very excited about that I'm very excited about that <laughs> then we have some Agave, bladder pod, agave, um, this is pink muley grass, but I also don't think, no, no, it's, it's alive, it's coming up, so yeah, hopefully that comes up and performs beautifully, then we have the bladder pod down there. Right next to the Palo Verde. I took off the protection that was around this mesquite. Um, I don't think anything's gonna eat it in here. We kind of have a little rabbit fence line. It's a little damaged in certain places, but it's so far it's done the job. 
Then we have this agave. I think those are the Americana, American agaves. But I'm not sure what this one's called. I forget. I've, re I've looked it up before. Just don't recall. Then here we have what we call Mimi the Mesquite. Chilean Mesquite. She had a bad case of the transplant shocks. Looks like... Uh, looks like it may be recovering. There's some new leaf growth on it. But there's also... current leaf growth on it that's falling off so I'm not too sure how the mes this mesquite will will handle the summer and spring we'll see and here we have the silver cassia looking absolutely gorgeous blooming providing that delicious nectar to the local bee population And there is a rabbit inside of this fence line, which probably has to be dealt with. Here we have cilantro. And next to that is this lucana tree. Oh, and a pomegranate, er, my bad. A bladder pod right there. Now we have this fig tree and this bladder pod. Then we have another pomegranate there with the mesquite. Here we have another cilantro with another lucana. Uh, now as for this lucana, I do believe, yep, it's got some leaves coming off of it, so it's alive and well. It's a little top dead. There we have a petunia cactus, right here we have the Elderica pine, which is doing pretty good, I believe. Trunk is thickening out. <sighs> Oil filled. And that little rabbit I saw ran somewhere over here. I'm gonna have to try to get it out later on. Hopefully, I can get it out of this fenced area. Right here, we have our Palo Verde. And some cacti. Now everything's looking good. It's greening up. Everything had a deep watering last night. Okay. And we have some agave here. Another bladder pod there, the one I had previously planted, like in that area. <laughs> It died, so put that other one there. Uh, the future bathroom site. I'm gonna use pallets, some four by fours, put some four by fours in each corner, and then put pallets as the walls. And then eventually, I'm gonna cob over that on the outside so it'll eventually have an appearance of a cob structure. And here's a fig some sorghum growing right next to it empty water tank <laughs> now this garden bed was extended out a little bit but what we have in here is stingy nettle right next to this palo verde opetunia cactus Another bladder pod. There's the other fig. So right now we have three figs growing. Another agave. Opetunia. Purple needle grass. And right in there is another 
bladder pot. Now, you can see they're all growing very differently. And that kind of clearly shows the effects of the sun and where they're growing in their little microclimate. They're gonna grow differently taller, wider, bigger leaves, slightly smaller leaves. Here we have the Chilean mesquite. It is leafing out. It's, it's gorgeous. Then we have Opatunia, Desert Senna. That little stick there is a chili plant that has yet to come back up. Then in this garden bed we call Sarah's garden because these rocks were donated by Sarah, my sister. We have a dwarf olive bush. Uh, it hasn't put on much growth, but its I believe it still has some transplant shock. Then right next to that, we have red yucca. Right next to the red yucca, there's that date palm, random seed, then random thing of grass, of petunia, and that was the inside of the nucleus zone. Then we also have some stuff planted, some trees planted. Uh, let me see, there we go. Now I have probably about 11 mesquite palo verdes planted out here. The first one starts there, then 20 feet apart average. Some of them are 30 feet apart. There's another one right there. There's another one. Ooh, let me zoom in right there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right there. But that goes all the way down. About 100 feet out that way. That's, that's the west side. It's going to be a western wind block. Then I have some other trees over here too on the outside. But I'll shoot another video for those. Alright, that's the Igni walkthrough.